towards Colby. Dancing feet. Milner scattered the snip. Lenny Milner scattered. Stats another man. A piece of individual brilliance. The referee's got the arm out here. Not sure that he's playing a lengthy advantage. Carter slings it wide. Now Dag in a bit of space. Off he goes. And he got the pass off beautifully. Kahui again. Kahui lining up. Kahui still going. And he's got two. Carter looping round, They're using their forwards often standing in the middle of the park, trying to take play there to give themselves options either side. But at times they'll cut to the defensive line, and Carter will loop. It's exactly what they did there. And Tonga defence was drawn in. Dag, well, a Sunny Bolesque backflip, backhanded pass. Kahui, lots of support on the inside, but he did it all on his own. Yeah, it was the Yongi, really, wasn't it? The Tongan winger who came in. But they talk about Grant Fox, the competitiveness in the back three for the All Blacks. There's three here tonight making some sort of statement. Chance now, Billy LaRue goes long towards Colby. Dancing feet, brilliant finish. Oh, brilliant by Cheslin Colby. And that is exactly what it was. It's a wonderful finish. It was a long pass from LaRue. It was after some really you know, tough, abrasive, hard running up front from the Springboks. This is a long pass from Maru over the top for Campagnaro, and then look at this, inside then outside through Minotti, and a try for Colby. It's such a brilliant attacking talent. Robux support from Offahangawe. Here's Campesi, surely he's going to score. There goes the little goose step. Campesi, just short of the line. The first try from David Campesi. A nice run, and look at this man, Offahangawe, as a good flanker should, in great support. Out to Campes, they seem for a moment to be crowded out, but there he goes, the little goose step, dodging inside and getting support from his forwards to drive him over. Australia is so good at getting the, these moves from the base of the scrum. This movement started from the base of the scrum, but I thought here that perhaps Campes made things difficult for himself by coming back in that way, but fortunately had enough support coming behind him. Still with Fiji. Here he comes again, out the back it goes. And in goes Kessler. He offloads himself and finds Arata. Arata desperate for help. Arata trying to get away from Fiji. The little man goes through. Santiago Arata in Uruguay. Well, what an amazing effort from one of the smallest men on the pitch. He scored against them last time, Arata, and he's done it again. And he had a lot of work to do. Here's the ball going to ground. There's Kessler. In he goes. Body on the line. And Arata, a quick step. Wow, there's one, two, and one never came through with a big flying hand to try and pull him down, but couldn't manage it. They give their back some room to move, and now Reed, Conrad Smith, a show of the ball, and the off was brilliantly taken by Nori. Milner scattered the step, Nelly Milner scattered the score! Oh, brilliant try! He is scintillating. Phenomenal attack. You can see Conrad Smith so clever, dumbing the inside, and then it's the electric uh, step. And the gas to finish it off. CG down a 14 man, but they're certainly holding their own at the moment. Charging through there was Nerwedi. Been turned over. Martin Williams doing the good work. Peel. There's Shanklin. The pass is a real opportunity for Shane Williams. Williams is going to man. Steps another man. A piece of individual brilliance. Wales slowly working their way back into this game. Shane Williams, his 35th try in international rugby. Well, Fiji had control of the ball, then they lost it. The turnover. They, they saw they had the mismatch out wide, and Williams. Such speed, electrifying running, does them on the inside, big step again off the right. I can't really criticise the Fiji in defence because Williams is such a dangerous runner at one on one. Richards, Morris, intercept by Basham, Lomu, hands off Tony Underwood, Lomu, heading for four. But that's the most brilliant quartet of tries you'd ever wish to see. Remember the number 11, it's etched in his eyebrow, and he gets his fourth Watch try. Watch him here, some good work by Basham. 
He gets his hands on the ball and quickly turns the attack. And Underwood beaten on the outside, clearly. A brilliant exhibition by the young winger. Lomu, all power, all step, no opposition. He leaves him behind as he goes in for try number four. Across the park they come, and losing him. Arms there, pops up in a toy. Here comes Chesley Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence. Beats one, still going. Chesley Colby, Chesley Colby. South Africa, the World Cup is theirs. To a man, they've made their tackles count. They've got the chance they are marks. Big hit from the replacement hooker. The toy only one thing to do. Get into this man's hands. One on one. Gets away from one of the best defenders in the world. Stands him up and he's over KT. Well, Chisley Colby. Remember his running on one ankle. Couldn't go last week in the semi-final. Can't go in the final. Chisley Colby is top shelf. Here they come. They've got it away to Gonzalez and He's going to go in! Oh, he's going to go in! Oh! Lucas Gonzalez Amorosino scores the try. And if the conversion is successful, Argentina will leave. Okay, can you talk to him, please? Advantage was played. Have you ever seen anything like that? He had no right to score that try. When the ball came to him, there wasn't anything on, really. What a finish! Out of nothing, John Preston. Three. And they're up quickly. Strauss! Straight through! You can't stop him! Well, we had the giraffe, now we have the rhinoceros. Dry score for South Africa. Right the the angle he ran, and again a little missed tackle from Japan. I've not missed too many, but two vital ones. This is the second, the first of the after Yoga. And the bullocking run of Adrian Strauss, not quite a gazelle on the move. I'm not sure he'd like to be called a rhinoceros, but certainly good little step and go, good finish. That park he ran, the pass, the drift pass he burned, got South Africa on the front foot. And on the front foot, this man, the, the semi rhinoceros, had a good charge for the line and it puts South Africa out in front again.